Hi, it's Andy from Solo Blinds. Uh, I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to set the limits uh, and initial programming of your new blind based on a Sonfi motor. Now today I'm going to be doing our projector screen. This has got Sonus 40 in, mains powered. But however, the great thing about Sonfi is that all their products, whether it be the wire free, low voltage, the principles of programming the blind are exactly the same. Same with the, all the different remotes. They've all got a basic up, down and stop. Um, and it's the same process on all of them. So what we're going to do, we're going to assume that this blind has just been installed, never been touched before, um, and the blind is now switched on, but it doesn't work with the controller. The first thing we have to do is assign this controller to the blind. If you use the multi-channel remote, make sure you select the channel that you wish to use. Today we're going to use channel 1, and it's going to press up and down at the same time until the blind jogs once and this assigns this remote on that channel to this blind. Now we've got a function of moving it up, down and up. If, depending on if the blind has got the motor on the left or the right, you may find the direction is wrong. Now to swap the direction, this is the first thing you do. As it happens, this is the right way, but if you assume it's the wrong way, when it's blind stopped, press and hold the my button until the blind jogs once. And that swaps the direction. So now down is up and up is down. Obviously we need it the other way, so I'm going to swap it back, press and hold the my button once again. One jog, the direction has now been swapped again to where the way we want it. Now you can set the limits, whether it be the top or the bottom, in any order. Personally, I always recommend that do the lower limit first. This, because it's usually a new blind, this allows the fabric to settle on the roll and tighten up and it means that you probably won't have to go back later and adjust the upper and lower limits. So we're going to press and hold the down button and move the blind to where we want it at the lower limit. So keep it down. After about a metre or so, the blind will stop itself. Let go. Press and hold again. We keep going. Keep a hold of it until we get the blind to where we want it to be. This should be fine, but you can jog it up and down to where you need it. When you're happy with where the lower limit is, you press and hold the My button and the Up button together. This will then send the blind away from the lower limit towards the top limit. Press and hold. The blind starts moving. Now don't touch the remote. The blind will run all the way to the top and it won't stop unless you stop it. So be ready when the blind becomes near the top to stop the blind because you don't want it to crash into the cassette or the top of your window. Before it gets to where you want it to be, somewhere near, stop it. And now what we can do is we can jog the blind and move it to where we want the upper limit. Keep wiggling. Happy with that. Once you're happy with the upper limit, we're now going to press the My button and the Down button together and the blind will then move to the lower limit by itself and when it gets there it'll stop to where you initially programmed the lower limit. If at any point you stop this or you're not happy with the combinations of what you press, you think you've done something wrong, nothing is confirmed, switch off the blind or disconnect the battery, reconnect it and everything is back to where it was because until we get the final confirm nothing is set. If we power off the blind it will wipe it back to begin. So now we've set the lower limit, the upper limit, and it's back down to the lower limit. We now need to confirm these limits, so we'll press and hold the My button for one jog. This has confirmed it, but if I still power off the blind, the memory will be wiped. We now need to confirm this, which is what a step that a lot of people miss. There's a small setting button on the back of the remote. We need to press this until for one jog, and that's the limit's confirmed. And now, if I power off the blind, the limits will be saved and everything will work fine. So you can switch the blind off, leave it off for a day, a week, a month, power it back on, and everything should work as it is. And that's it. Be sure to check out the other videos on the website, www.soloblinds.co.uk, for other tutorials on uh, how to change the limits and other program techniques. Thank you very much.